If your partner came home and told you they accidentally murdered someone and needed your help to hide the body, what would you do? If it's accidental I'd go through the story and see if we could get away with it legally. If it was on purpose I'd damn well make the body disappear. If it's accidental, that's manslaughter. It's only murder if they meant to kill the person. Which is it? Do we also need to avoid a counter-attack from the local crime boss? Details, I need details. It depends on the reasoning, but I'd help them hide it. I know a few methods that wouldn't be traceable. We'd ask what happened, calm them down and contact the police. That would be just the best. I mean if they are under shock they don't act rational. After thinking about this question for 5 minutes I keep coming to the same conclusion. I wouldn't believe it. We are parents. I'll accept to probably raise the kids alone, and tell them to just confess and hope the courts aren't too harsh. I'm not going to foster the kids, and go to prison because I kept the secret. Murder by definition is premeditated and not accidental, in which case I back away without turning my back to him cause that's Zeus. I'd need to know the circumstances and I would never hide a body. We would call a lawyer first to determine the following steps and then the police with the instructions from the lawyer. You can accidentally murder someone. Murder is a malicious act. An accidental killing is manslaughter. Ain't one person on here about that life fr. Sounds good on Reddit but I know killers and I don't see any here. Obviously help them get rid of it. In Minecraft only the world I'd go to the police as I am a law-abiding citizen. First thing would be to change their clothes, wash in hot water and bleach. Basically get rid of all evidence they were ever at the scene of a murder. Then go to the murder scene, try to figure out a way to make it look like an accident. Very few people can plausibly just disappear, so getting rid of the body is rarely the best option. Check if it's true. Correct that they accidentally killed somebody because murder is intentional and then get murdered. I immediately thought I'm a murderly juror when I read this question. But yeah, I'd ask who they were and what they did with my wife. Grab the chicken wire, drive the body out to a lake, weigh it down with blocks and float it out to the middle of the lake, so that the fish and turtles can get at them. Then go get breakfast. Give them advice on how to do it, then go on a holiday so I don't get implicated in it all while they do the dirty work. You're always gonna have problems lifting a body in one piece. Apparently, the best thing to do is cut up a corpse into six pieces and pile it all together. Ask how the fuck you accidentally murder someone since that one needs premeditation. But then also who and why? Stuff like that is quite important. I'd say get right back to where this accident happened and call the cops. Coming clean right away about an accidental murder is way better than ditching the scene of an accident and trying to cover it up. Oh yes, I have a plan for this exact situation. One always needs to be prepared and have a plan for any situation. I guess be an accessory after the fact. Fun fact legally you're entitled to not testify against your spouse. I'd grab my shoes and some trash bags and go wherever we needed to. There isn't anything I wouldn't do to protect my family. You can't murder someone by accident. Murder is intentionally killing someone. If she murdered someone, unless it was for self-defense, I'd be calling the cops. If some murders someone and you know about it, pretty sure you're legally required to report it to the cops or you can be charged as well. I'd be like WDF? Call the cops lol it drives me crazy when movies and shows do that. Just fucking be honest and it'll be fine. I would help him first then ask what ex Catley happened. Depends on the story how I will react and act. Decide which of our many body disposal plans would be best and then get to work. My current favorite is pig farm but you never know what will strike your fancy. I wouldn't be able to do that. I would panic and go through all sorts of outcomes. The worst of which is that I go to jail. So no, sorry, but you're on your own. I will have to see it because I wouldn't believe her. The odds are she ain't killing anyone on purpose. Don't believe she's even capable of doing it to ease someone's suffering. She feels too much. Immediately start using the term hypothetically to empathize each part of the conversation. As in you hypothetical did that and are now asking for my help, hypothetically. And then see where the conversation goes. 